there, I'm Black Pride, broadcasting out of the UK, um, sticking my nose in America's business today. If it's the first time you're passing my channel, like, subscribe, share, and yeah. I think most of you know a little bit about me, but I've got on dark glasses. I've had them on for the last couple of days, only because I've got an eye infection. I'm waiting for the blood shot to disappear so I can get back to normal. But until then, I am not aggravating my eye by putting in contact lenses or messing around with it. So that's that. Um, I wanted to talk about um, this new Real ID. I did a video on it over a year ago now, but within 2020, time flies fast. And if you didn't see my original video, I am reminding you now that as of the 1st of October 2020, if you're not legal in the States, you will not be able to fly anywhere, not even domestically. They've got a new real ID coming out. Well, it's been enacted. It was enacted in 2005 because of the 9-11, but now it's being put in place. And the real ID means that you have a driving license, whether or not you can drive or not, it doesn't matter. But this is the only way you can drive. This is the only way you can get on a plane. You can fly. And this real ID has a little gold star at the top right hand corner. And it's called a real ID star. And it goes through a strict verification process. So... If you're not legal peeps, you are up the creek without a paddle if you want to travel anywhere, if you want to fly anywhere. What you need uh, in order to get the real ID, you need to go to the local um, driving centre and then, or motor vehicles, whatever they call it over there, and then you um, take four forms of ID. Um, that could be a passport, it could be a driving license, it could be a utility bill, it can be a birth certificate, it could be military ID, it can be um, social security number, um, what else was there, payroll stub, and I think that's it. Yeah, those are the forms of ID you can take to get the real ID driving license. But like I said, if you don't have one, as of the 1st of October 2020, you will not be able to fly. Um, my concern is that they do say that you can take a passport and fly with that as an acceptable form of ID, but you know that's discretionary. If they want to give you a hard time, they are going to apply strictly the rules, and the strict rules say, no real ID, no flighty. So I think that's all you need to know. If, oh yeah, and if you've changed your last name, either through marriage or divorce, they're going to need to see proof of that. I guess that goes without saying. Um, in some cases, they do have a satellite facility. So if you don't have all your ID, they are able to source it from some measure if you're legal. But yeah, I think, oh, you also have to take proof of residency and proof of citizenship to get your real ID. So like I said, if you ain't kosher, mate, you're up the creek without a paddle. So if you better, if you want to fly, you better fly before the 1st of October 2020, because after that, you're going to have to stay stum and in place. And that's all I've got to say. Bye-bye.